Okay guys, so today we're starting off the vlog with a four hour road trip. We are three hours and 20 minutes into it, meaning we only have 40 minutes left. Thank God. Francis is holding the camera at a horizontal angle. In the most terrible car for videoing. Okay, and Storm Francis is here in Ireland. And yeah, it's pretty terrible driving conditions, but we're still having a good time, aren't we, Yeah. We've got six Subway cookies. We had Subway breakfast rolls, which is a new thing for me. I've never tried one of them before, and it was absolutely insane. Potentially better than McDonald's. But yeah, basically we're driving to Adair Manor, which is a pretty fancy hotel down, down, down south in Ireland. So Francis family are gonna play golf, and me and Francis are just gonna chill out get massages and have a good time. Okay guys, so here we have the unofficial room tour. Francis is already in here ahead of me. First things first, let's check out the view. Pretty sick. River is flowing heavy today. And then the bed, pretty huge. I'll let you know the comfiness levels after tonight. Francis has discovered this, whatever this is. Lift it off, bro. Ooh, it's a very Some... sticky cake. Wow, it's very sticky. We would like it to be chocolate. But it may be fruit cake. I think it could be fruit. And then we've also got little macaroons here. We've got coffee making station. And then in here, we have the bathroom. Pretty huge bathroom. So obviously the bath. And then over here, we've got his and her sinks. Such a vibe. Walk-in shower, walk-in toilet. Some nice mood lighting going on there. And then in here we have safe, spare towels, dressing gowns, slippers. And in here, storage space, hangers, iron board. Major, major key. Okay guys, so it's currently quarter past three and right now we're going to do some falconry which is I think when the falcon lands on your arm like this and I don't know, just lands there and you speak to the falcon for a bit so hopefully we'll get some sick slow-mo footage and some nice photos so very excited to do that, never done it before so always up for trying new things, let's go. Tell me is a northern white face stops out. At least that's what they used to be. Uh, about a year ago, they discovered a little uh, genetic variation within the species. So since then, this species has been rebranded as the Northern White-Faced Owl. So Northern White-Faced Owl, Northern White-Faced Scaps Owl, take your pick, both are applicable. So orange or brown, she likes you now, this is a good sign. This is known as a ruse. There you go, she's looking immediately ah. shiny to you there. So there you go, that's a really, really good positive sign. Hello, tiny. That shows the bird is feeling relaxed, she's feeling very, very comfortable. So there you go, you just made a little buddy for yourself. Aww. New measures, new standards to the zoos, and Ireland is the template. So there you go, he likes you. He likes me. That's a good sign.
Okay guys, so it's just gone seven o'clock. We're going for pre-drinks in the library before dinner, and then we're heading to the carriage room for our main dinner, and we'll be getting a little golf cut there, so that should be fun. Today has been very chilled, very relaxed. Obviously, we hung out with the birds, which was absolutely sick. Got some nice footage there, and tomorrow, plan is run, gym, spa treatments, and a super fancy dinner. So, I'll be bringing you guys along with us the whole time, so hope you're enjoying it so far. Leave a thumbs up, and Let's go get pre-drinks. Thank you, guys. Fran, what's your opinion on Adair Manor so far? It's very nice. Very old-fashioned, but lovely. Is it up to your standards? Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay, so it's Tuesday, 25th of August. According to Rob Lipset, it's officially whiskey sour day. So obviously I had to order one for my brother. Good morning, it is 11 o'clock here at Adair Manor. We have just finished breakfast in the main dining room. High ceilings, stained glass windows, chandeliers, a very nice setting for breakfast. I got the chicken and bacon, chicken and bacon? The waffles and bacon, which was absolutely delicious. Um, last night we had dinner in the coach house, which was also very nice. I opted for chicken, everyone else opted for steak. I wish I'd got steak, the steak was way nicer, to be honest. A few pints, a few glasses of wine, very, very nice evening. Today, me and Francis are going to go for a run around the estate, hopefully try and get a 5k in. Then I'm going to go to the gym and then we're getting spa treatments. So I'm going to try and show you as much of the hotel as I can today. This is where we're going to run all the way around here. And I think you can go around the whole back of the golf course. So yeah, let's get our running stuff on and I'm just going to vlog on my iPhone whilst we're on the run. Let's go. Just got some new running shorts. Pro Direct running, very nice. I'll test them out after. And I'm wearing the Alpha Flies for today's run. Just got a new package from Free Train. So, let's have a little look. Yes. So, I got the kind of silver. This one is literally fully reflective, which is pretty sick. So, I'm just going to adjust it and put it on. Okay, yeah, so really simple. I have my Apple Watch, which I track my run on, and I can literally put my phone in here. So it unbuttons like that, and as you can see, you have like a waterproof case, which the touchscreen works perfect for it. You slide your phone into here, lock it. I don't know, maybe you wanna start Strava, Spotify, on, locked in place, and then I would normally put my AirPods in here, AirPods in, and then I start my run, and I can also change track using my Apple Watch so I don't ever have to touch my phone. And my phone can track the run on Strava, and it can have Spotify or podcast running, and literally, I'm hands-free. It's not annoying like on the arm straps. Literally, perfect. So. Okay guys, so we just asked the concierge if there's any running routes that he recommends. So we're doing basically a full 5K around the whole estate. It's 4.8 kilometers. So, should be pretty fun. You also said that you can send someone to go running with us if we want. So if you come here, you need a running partner, they have someone that can come and do the runs with you, which is pretty crazy. But I have up for hour with me today. So we're just gonna do, enjoy it, nice and slow. Let's go. Okay 
Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me because it's very windy, so I'm gonna shout. But the Alpha Flies, when running on like a tarmac road like this, are by far the best running trainers in the world. This is what they were made for. Marathons, nice tarmac roads, not gravel, sand, off-road. They're not the best for that. But for this, I can feel, they feel incredible. So definitely recommend the Alpha Flies if they're in your budget. Okay, so we did 6K, 34 minutes. Obviously we stopped for photos and videos as well, but that was an absolutely delightful run. We'll 100% be doing that tomorrow. Rain, sunshine, or snow. But yeah, Frances now has a spa treatment, so she's gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and try and find the gym, see what it looks like, do a full body workout, and then I'll be getting my spa treatment, so. Tremendous start to the day. Okay guys, so this is the fitness center. Um, I think it has everything we need to get a workout in today. You are only allowed a limited number of people in here at the minute because of coronavirus. So if you are with obviously staying with family members or staying with a group, you can all access the gym at the same time, but they're not so keen on lots of people being in here at once at the minute. So I'm gonna do kind of a full body workout and we'll just see what we can get done before my massage, which is in 45 minutes. So let's go. Okay guys, so as of yesterday, it was two weeks since I left Ibiza and obviously I haven't been allowed to go to the gym because I was supposed to be self-isolating. Although I did take the coronavirus test a couple of times since I've been back and both times it was negative. I have however been running, um, not too much, not as much as I would like to have. Normally I would like to run every day but I've probably been running every two or three days just because I don't really know why. I've been busy editing a lot of footage. Maybe I should get that. But, little update. I have been comfort eating. It has been raining. It has been cloudy. Obviously, when we're in Ibiza, it's sunny. It's hot. You have your top off all day, every day. Your appetite is a lot lower. Your metabolism is a lot faster. And you feel a lot better. And you're more conscious of what you're eating. You don't want to go and eat a big bowl of chips and then walk around with a bloated belly all day. So, you eat more salads and more healthy foods when you are out in the sun. So, probably another week or so until I go back to Ibiza. So I'm gonna start cutting back, tracking my calories and making some gains in the gym and probably try and run every single day if I can. So I will enjoy the food today and maybe tomorrow morning and then we'll get straight back to it, tracking probably around 2,500 calories. That's if I'm going for a run and I'm going to the gym, so. Okay guys, so got my nice robe on, my slippers, did a quick 30 minute workout five exercises, felt perfect, didn't do too much, didn't overwork the body. What's the point when we're going for a nice, relaxing sports massage right now? Obviously, I'm not gonna bring the big camera with me because that'd be weird, but I'm gonna bring my phone and try and record as much as I can. But yeah, 60 minute massage. Looking very much forward to it. See you there. One hour later. Okay, so 
massage was absolutely unbelievable. One of the best, and I'm quite critical when it comes to massages because I like it nice and hard. I want to benefit from it. I want to release the tension, get my muscles relaxed, and I use it as more of like a recovery rather than a stress relief. But yeah, that was really, really good. Went for the deep tissue massage, 60 minutes, fantastic. So now we're in this little relaxation room. Don't know if there's anyone else here, but we've got a sparkling apple juice and a berry sorbet. Okay guys, so quickly got changed, put my hoodie on. Gonna go and get some sick drone shots. A few moments later. The drone is broke and will not take off. Well, it takes off, but it just flips over. Uh, I think one of the motors is damaged. On the last day in Ibiza, when we're on the yacht, lost signal out at sea, and then I just had to fly it in the direction of the yacht, and it smashed into Darren's arm, fell on the floor and went crazy. So I think that's the end of the Mavic Air. So I might have to go for a Mavic Pro 2. I think that's what it is. Any drone recommendations, let me know. Okay guys, so we're going for champagne tasting, cocktails, and then for dinner, we're doing a tasting menu, which should be lovely. What did you get? Myself. Francis is wearing a lovely pearl vest with a polka dot skirt and some pearl heels, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, and Lee's wearing a lovely blue suit. Suit, which is too That's small, much too small. Fra thinks it's too small because when I got Measured for the suit, I was actually doing vegan and not going to the gym. That's how the pros do it. Mine was released in 2017. So it was sitting almost 10 years in the cellar. No, Jane, Jane, I shouldn't have it, should I? I spat one out before. Let's try it. <laughs> Jane, what do you think? Try it, definitely. Mm. Nice. Ice. To make me feel sick. Come on. I'm happy that the marinade covered the taste. <laughs> it was actually not so bad. And an aphrodisiac, as they say. Are you having yours? Okay. Okay, so this is a Dune Castle oyster with teriyaki, sesame and cucumber. And we're washing it down with Krug Grande 163 edition. <laughs> That's a little nice. I mean, it's a good investment in there. What's the champagne like? Yeah. 
Lovely. Really? A bit more flat, but actually, I think more smooth. This is unreal in here. Whoa! <gasps> I've had a many uh, Is this happening? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There's so many different drinks. This is yeah, 360 bottles of uh, Can I have a special cocktail? <gasps> yes, of course. We have four of the oak with uh, dark rum, chocolate, port, uh, sweet vermouth and vanilla. And it's aged in oak barrel for six months. Six months. So that yeah. cocktail there is six months old. Yeah. It's a good one? Perfect. Nice. Sorry. <laughs>